What's up you guys, it's your girl B Sky, short for Britney Sky, and in today's video we're going to be doing a little Zara haul, yes, a Zara haul. We're going to do some Zara fall favorites, um, but before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see when I upload new videos because it's happening more and more frequently these days. Now, let's jump into the video. So let me tell you how, or let me tell you how I ordered some of these items I want to say a month ago and I just hadn't had the time to open them yet. So I don't even know what we're opening. It's like we're opening together. Um, I see you guys really, really enjoyed my last video. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep running the fashions up. I'm going to try and mix in some like hair, some makeup. Basically what you request is what you seem to like. It seems like you guys really like fashion stuff. So I'm going to share more of that with you guys. So, first things first, I know what this is, and I feel like this box right here is, well this, this item right here is a necessity. This is a long denim skirt, it slits down the middle, and the back goes all the way down. Um, I have this in a size medium, and I felt like this was really necessary, I feel like long denim skirts are back in style. I paid $49 for this, and please believe I'm gonna try it on for you guys, so don't you worry. I feel like I have like the perfect fit for this. YouTube saw it here first because this is exactly how I'm gonna style it. Let me just, let me throw it on for you guys really quick. So this is a skirt. As you can see, I love the bottom. I think it's really cute. Like a nice take on the 2000s, I believe. Yeah, 2000s. It's got a little split down the middle. This is what the back looks like, totally covered in the back, but this is what it looks like, super cute. I think that it looks really good with heels because it gives you a little bit of height. Um, but yeah, this is a skirt. I hope you guys enjoyed what that looked like. I feel like it's given. Let me know in the comment section what you think below. Would you buy it? Would you not buy it? Like, let me know. I'm trying to see something. So I brought the box back up onto my lap. The packaging, the packaging is really cute too. Like, has some nice tissue paper. I like brands that, you know, are sustainable in a way. Like, yeah, it's cardboard, but they didn't go too over the top. Anyways, comes in this wrapping paper, well, this soft paper, with a sticker. What did I order? It's another skirt. <laughs> this is the joy of, like, not opening your things right away, because, like, I don't even know what I ordered, like, girl. So, next up we have a, I feel like this is a vegan leather skirt. I feel like this will look real cute with like a black turtleneck. You can wear this with a nice jacket over some boots and yeah. And it has this belt and the belt is kind of cute. I don't know if I would keep this belt on or if I would put my own version of the belt on. But I love how the waist is really cinched and then it gets wider on the bottom. It's giving a classe. You could also layer this with some stockings and some boots again, or you could wear some heels. Let's see how this belt goes. I don't really know how this situation, oh, there we go. I think it's better once I try it on for you guys. This is what it looks like. Do we like the belt? Like, do y'all like the belt? Let me know in the comment section if y'all like the belt or not. Or should I put my own belt? Or should I just do no belt? Because sometimes less is more. I'm gonna try this on for you guys, and then you guys let me know what you think. Do you guys like it? Is the, is the leather giving rich and expensive? Okay, so this is the skirt. Do we like it? I think the belt is kind of cute, honestly. I, I didn't even think this would be a vibe. This is kind of a vibe all together. Like, what do y'all think? Super cute. Even if you were to get like a black denim cropped jacket and wear it with that, that would go off too. I love how it pinches the waist, like get into the waist. Snatched. And let me show you guys some close-ups. So again, this is what it looks like. I'll show you guys the back. Like even with the front chain, it looks kind of cool. So what do we think of the skirt? Should I keep it? Should I return it? What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I mean, like I said, I like the fact that the belt is detachable. I paid $49.90 for this skirt as well, and this is a size medium too. So if you're like a 28, 29 in the US, Hopefully it will fit you. The question is, did I order another skirt? Okay. So, back in our wrapping paper. Oh, I'm excited about this. Okay. So this piece right here 
This is a really cute piece. This is like a bralette thing. And I remember, ooh, I remember seeing or well, wanting one of these. Um, I saw something like this similar on Revolve and it sold out right away. But guess what guys, I found it on Zara. And um, this is a size medium. This is $69.90. Um, it's a little bit pricier, which I do understand because it's like bedazzled, it's bling bling. Every time I come around your city, bling bling. Um, you can layer this. And if I'm being completely honest, I saw this, uh, she's a YouTuber too, Ellen Valora. She's a friend of mine. I saw her post this on TikTok and she layered it with like a little tube dress. And I feel like she was on to something. There's several ways you could wear this. But the first time I saw something similar to this was at Coachella. My friend Coco had this something similar to this on at Revolve. And I just loved it. And she got it from Revolve. So we're going to try this on. Let's hope it fits. Oh, I'm nervous. So this is the little sparkly bralette. I don't want to show you guys too much because I don't want to be like, you know, nude. This is how it looks. I think it fits perfect. This is a medium and I'm pretty busty. I'm not going to lie. So... So this is what the back looks like. I have to figure out how I'm gonna style it. If you guys want to see how I style it, let me know in the comment section down below. But this is what it's given. Here, I'll go like this, just so you can see. See it without showing so much. Not too much, not so freaking much. I feel like it's just a very, very cute statement piece. So I forgot I ordered that little bling bling piece. I'm so hype, I'm so hype, I'm so hype. Anyways, next up, we have some shoes. And they come in this little dust bag, which is really cute. I mean, it's just a dust bag. It's not cute. Nothing super cute about it. But I feel like Zara is super affordable. So the fact that they put their stuff in dust bags, it goes, you know, a little, a little more goes extra mile. Did I say that right? A little extra goes, I don't know. You know what I mean. Anyways, I got these silver pumps. And I think they're cute, but they look a little worn. Like, oh, wore these and return them. Zara, you try to sell me these? I'm gonna see. Like, it looks like the moment like this. But I thought they were really cute. I feel like a silver closed shoe is so necessary. The only other silver shoe that I think I have are the Tom Ford padlock heels. So I feel like this is cool for like a closed toe moment. And I also think this could be really cute with that denim skirt with the denim on denim look I was telling you about. The denim prop jacket. Silver heels. Like, you get where I'm going with this. Vibes. These are a size 39 and I paid $49.90 for these so i'm gonna try these on and you guys let me know what you think in the comment section the heel is also silver it's like kind of like a mirror vert like vibe so i think that's really cute and you got the cutout right here these are the shoes and mary said they would look cute with a little denim on denim vibe this is what it looks like style i can see these hurting a little bit i'm not gonna hold you is like from the front i feel like they're the perfect height honestly and i love the little mirror on the back i feel like these go really cute with the denim on denim look okay so what do you guys think of these should i keep them should i return them what you how, how y'all feeling what do we think keep them return them would you buy them i want to know i want to know next up next up we have this big box i feel like i could play the guitar on it let's get into it let's get into it this is definitely a boot because why, why is the box so big? I've been feeling boots because I feel like you can wear boots, I'm not going to say all year long, but for the most part, you can wear boots for a very long time. And I'm so hyped because I can already see through the dust bag. Yes, they come in this dust bag. Hopefully nobody wore these before I get to wear them because the heck. Look at this. This is a fire cowboy boot, okay? This is a fire fire cowboy boots here yeah. um i just love the black and the white i feel like it's standard again this could go with that skirt the denim skirt the denim skirt is going to get rounds okay the denim skirt is going to get worn i'm just hype about these when i was younger guys i used to love cowboy boots i had them in every single color so this is like a nostalgic moment i saw these online and i was like oh, yeah i'm gonna be the girl that pulls up with the leather pants and has on her cowboy boots looking like she's going to the rodeo she's really going to the store to probably buy more clothes that she probably doesn't need yeah anyways these boots are super cute um i feel like again you can wear these with a skirt 
a long skirt, a short skirt, some shorts, and these could get rounds all year long. I feel like cowboy boots are in effect. I just love them. Honestly, if I wanted to be a cowgirl for Halloween, I would whip these out. If I wanted to wear these at Coachella, I would whip these out. If I just wanted to wear these out on a town because I can and I do what I want, I would whip these out. Because these right here are saying something and they're doing something for me. And I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something for me. Are they doing anything for you? Anyways, <laughs> these are a size 39 as well. Like honestly, every pair of shoes I got are a size 39. I'm usually a 39 and European. Eight, eight and a half these were 119 and i think they're worth the price they feel really really nice but i get into it and i feel like it's just like the little things the flames on the side like i'm so happy about these boots i feel like a little kid again like when i say i had cowboy boots in all the colors i really did That's, i was her and i'm about to be her again but i never stopped being her that's the gag anyways i'm gonna try these on for you guys oh my god stop like what i know you lying like these these go kind of crazy get into it first of all they're really comfortable second of all the flames third of all these with a denim skirt Ooh, out of here this is what it looks like from the back like full yeah don't play with her these these are these are her don't play with it boots okay don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it so what do we think do we like the boots do we keep the boots like i think we keep these because these are like without a doubt fire in my opinion zara you done done it again okay so we got another box another one yeah another one. let's open it up i know what these are these are some super clean black boots from Zara. Yeah, they have like a little cozy heel. I don't know if I was doing too much by these. Like, I don't know if it was a stretch. I just love a black boot. And I like the way the model was wearing them on the site. My friend Aliki also has a pair of boots like this. And I don't know, they might be the same ones. I'm not sure, but I have complimented her on these boots. Time after time, she wears them with everything. Like, you could wear them out. Like, she pull and fits in these boots. And I was just so inspired. I'm like, she said they're her most comfortable shoes. So, when she wants to be comfortable, she wears them out. She wears them with shorts. I've seen her wear them with literally so many different types of pieces. And they go with everything. And that's where I got them. So, shout out to Aliki for putting me on. These are also a size 39. And I think, if I remember correctly, I mean, I remember my friend wearing them. I hope they're the same ones. They kind of slouch here in this area like you could like pull them down you could pull them up which i love one of the other things that i love about these is they're black and like how can you go wrong with black you know what i mean they also look better worn so the more you wear them you know you, you give them some rounds you take them out on the town the better they look in my opinion so i cannot wait to put these on i feel like these will look funky with some tights a little crop denim jacket and a little crop top maybe i don't know i feel like you could wear these several ways again you could throw these bussies down with the skirt and you good to go we'll figure that out i'm gonna try them on for you guys let me know what you think okay so these are the boots i have them on with some leggings i think they're like a really good height and they are really comfortable let's see if they oh yep they slouch they do the slouch thing the slouch thing is really important to me <laughs> clearly this is what they look like from the back if you want to pull them up and run like this, you can do that too. I think they're cute. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you like these? Are we feeling these? Are we feeling the clean black leather boot? Like, would you buy these? Should I keep them? I don't know. I'm trying to see something. I was, the, the cowboy boots, I knew I was keeping. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, those are not going anywhere. Um, these, I do like them. I do. I feel like I guess I gotta wear them a little bit more, but I wanna know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should I keep them? Did you like how they look? Do you think, this is the real question, do you think that I'm gonna get wear out of them? Because I'm not trying to sit on things. Y'all know me, I like to sit on things. Like I said, I had this stuff for a long time. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to take these out of town. Will I wear these? Let me know if you guys think I'll wear these in the comment section down below. Okay, last but not least, we have one more item. So let me jump into that with you guys. Oh, I already know what this is because I was so hyped 
when it came. This is the only box that I opened first. And I'm like, yeah, it's another boot. Mm -hmm. I'ma be stomping on pavement everywhere I go extra loud because these boots were made for walking. Yeah. These boots go so hard to me. I think out of all the boots, I would have to say these by far might be my favorite. Not mine. Because I really do like the cowboy boots too. But the color, like, so good. Like, I was looking at the um, Tabby Margiela uh, knee boots, the, the ones that come up to your knees. I have them in black. I've worn them a ton of times, especially on TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you do because I post my office there. Okay? Anyways. I saw the Tabby Margiela boots in this color and I was like, I want them. But I might not want to spend Tabby money right now. So I seen these on Zara and I saw how the model was wearing them. And she actually, I think, had them on with one of the denim skirts that I showed you guys. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But I was sold. I was like, these or foyer. The shape of the toe, you get a little square toe in the front. Black heel. They zip up to about here. And they go pretty high. So we love that. I just love the color and I love the toe shape so much. I feel like they're giving everything expensive. And they're, they just look like quality. Like overall, they look like a quality boot. And I got the perfect outfit for them. Okay, guess the price. How much you guys think these were? How much y'all think these were? Let me know how much y'all think these are in the comment section down below. Get real active in the comment section. These are size 39. So good. So good. So good. This is gonna be me. I'm gonna be like, dun, 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 dun. did y'all see these boots? Do y'all see these boots? Anyways, these were $200. Tuhana. Um, and I feel like these were well worth the price. Like I said, the quality, I can just see fire, the color. Like it's rich, it's giving everything expensive again. And um, now I'm gonna try them on. Okay, so this is what the boots look like love it i love where they reach they go over your knees this is the boots this is what they look like this is the height of the heel they go over the knee this is what the boots look like look like they, they go over the knee they don't look like it they do i love the square toe and i love the black sole i think it's like very good depth on top of the burgundy looks great with the skirt it would probably look great with some shorts Okay, so I'm back and I have a question. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did these boots not give? Are these boots not giving? Like, come on, stop playing. If you think otherwise, I don't know. Your taste must be questionable, but we can agree to disagree on this channel. Um, I am obsessed and yeah, I think these are well worth the price. Like I said, the boots that I wanted, I feel like I could put those on ice and wait because these are gonna these are gonna serve these are good i don't know why i went so boot crazy like i have a lot of boots and i just was like i need more boots and just keep me just keep me out the stores keep me off the internet shopping sites the sites where you can just throw it in the bag because my pockets are certain and the holidays are around the corner yeah they are anyways love love I am really satisfied with majority of my purchases. Some of them, I'm like, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section if I should keep them or if I shouldn't. But I am, I'm satisfied for the most part. All right, you guys, that about sums up this Zara haul, my little Zara mini haul. Actually, we're just gonna call this Zara haul because I did my big one with the boots. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway just because we hit over a thousand and that is big i'm very grateful for every one of you guys that show up for me time and time again so what should i do what should i give away hmm. um maybe i'll announce more details in the next video but i'm definitely actually i'm definitely gonna do i'm definitely gonna do a giveaway especially with the holiday season here um thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you in my next video